A lot is said about the relationship between Arabs and dogs, Muslims and dogs, and it's usually in a negative light that we try and avoid them, keep them away. But is that the only story? We are here at the Arabian Saluki Center in Abu Dhabi, in the United Arab Emirates, to show you a different perspective. Let's go and check it out. There's actually incense burning. This is the kennel where all the dogs stay, and there's incense burning, so it's a nice smell for them to enjoy. So apparently, the beautiful thing, uh, and it's a sign of loyalty amongst the dog and amongst the, uh, the dog's owner, is the dog would only eat what the owner eats. So if the owner was eating a chicken sandwich, the dog would also eat a chicken sandwich. <laughs> They're licking you. Stay there, I want to film this, I want to film this. Ah, see, she got excited. You know why she got excited? The guy is bringing the food from over there. Let's see what's on the menu today. So this is what they have today. So first of all, I want you to take a look at the serving tray. The serving tray is very similar to the trays that we as Arabs that we eat from. And now they're having chicken and biscuits and this is gonna be their meal for the day. So there's protein for the kids and there's like a chicken soup broth in there to make it nice and soft for the children. See the beautiful thing here, the mother's love, letting the children eat first. We're going out now for a short walk with Jamila, and Jamila means beautiful. It means the beautiful in Arabic. These are our versions of the collar and the leash. They're all handcrafted by the Red Crescent Society, which is a charity in the UAE where women, elderly women, actually spend their days making these with their own hands and giving it to the center for there to be used to take the dogs on walks, take the dogs to beauty pageants. As you see, they're really beautiful. Really, really beautiful. So we're going to take a dog out for a walk. They got really excited. <laughs> we're going to the Salugi's kitchen now. <laughs> See, we're, we're, you've taken us to the kitchen. You want some? She's going to go in for a little dip in the pool. Let's see her train. It's drinking the water and swimming at the same time. <laughs> well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We saw how the Salugi dog eats. We saw how the Salugi dog sleeps. But more importantly, we saw how the Salugi dog has an important part in our history, in our society, and in our culture today. And maybe, just maybe, dogs are an Arab's best friend too. Much love, and God bless you all.